Hello, my name's Marnie, and I'm a speech language pathologist. I have a trick for you to try in your classrooms that should help your students improve their comprehension and their expressive language skills. It's called pre-telling, telling, and retelling. Again, pre-telling, telling, and retelling. Now, this strategy is useful for activities throughout your day, whether it's referring to your visual schedule for your daily activities or the activities of a task. Maybe it's an art project, maybe it's a storybook, maybe it's a theme related activity like making snow angels. You talked about the season, the clothing, the temperature, the taste, the the sound of snow and now you're going to go out and experience it by making snow angels. So one thing to consider if you do have some extra help or some extra time is to actually take a digital picture of a child doing each of the three steps of a task. For example, there's a child lying down in the snow, a child waving his or her arms in the snow, and a child standing up. You can either just insert it into your laptop and show the slideshow of the three steps or print them off and use those three pictures as a visual. Or you can just demonstrate yourself. So this is the example of pre-telling, telling, and retelling. Let's pre-tell. Okay, everyone, gather around in our adventure corner. I have something to tell you. And then you're going to get into it. First, we will lie down in the snow. Then, we will wave our arms and legs. Last, we will stand up and you might do that again. So first we will lie down in the snow. Next we will wave our arms and legs. Last we will stand up. Okay, let's go. Outside you go. Crunch, 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 crunch. You might re you might pre-tell it again what's gonna happen, and now you're gonna do it. So you be the commentator. First, we are lying down. Next, we are waving our, hand, our arms and legs. We are waving. Last, we are standing up. Okay, so now let's retell what just happened. First, we lied down. Next, we waved our arms and legs. We waved. Last, we stood up. Now think about it here. You're working on sentence structure, on verb tenses, and all sorts of verbs, even in a regular verb. Uh, you can throw in pronouns all in how you word your sentences. Uh, you're working on comprehension of steps, sequencing words first, next, and last, which is helping to develop the narrative skills so the children can tell their own stories. Wow, the, the language development in just this one activity is tremendous. Okay, everyone, let's go back inside and draw our stories. Crunch, 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 crunch back inside, have the children draw out their stories of making snow angels and then have them tell you their stories. Then after that adventure of retelling what happened first, next, and last, put those stories into your special book about snow. Wow, these children have great literacy skills now. They even have a book. So you can extend this type of skill by just by prompting them to use this type of storytelling in their everyday activities when they come in ah oh, guess what guess what okay okay what happened first la 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 oh what happened next ba 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 what happened last la 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 oh first you did this next that and last you did this that sounds like a great recess thank you for telling me your story sit down <laughs> but again 
you're ingraining this language into them until it becomes part of their own language. It becomes part of their story. Wow, this is a fun way to learn.